Hello everyone, welcome back to Rising World, and I was thinking to myself what we should do today, and it occurred to me that there is something that we don't have. It's rather a significant drop off, isn't it? We do not have a really good space for any kind of a workshop. And we need that. So, that's what we're going to do today. And anything else that time allows. But we're going to focus on the workshop. So, it's going to go right here. And let's see. I think part of it is going to be a, a mine entrance. I'm really not going to actually do any mining. But I'm going to have an entrance to a mine. So we'll have that over here going into, you know, the giant mountain. And then kind of over here is going to be the workshop area. So first off, let's figure out what we're going to make this out of. Oh, and I made, I felt I should be wearing some somewhat appropriate clothing instead of just whatever I spawned in wearing. So I did do that. But now, let's see here. We're going to have our forge and everything here. So you're going to want this to be a stone building for sure. I really do like that particular texture, but it's just not really quite what I'm going for for this. Let's see. This is a very nice, older looking cobblestone. What else do we have? These honestly look like river rocks to me. You know, like they they have that smoothed look that things get when they've been in the water for an extended period of time. So that's what that always reminds me of. Um, okay, well the newer stuff is always down at the bottom. So let's take a look at what we have up here. Uh, this one might not be bad. Possibly. Or that one. Let's go with this one. It has a bit of a less polished feel to it that I really like. And then we're going to do a very, very simple, just like a pounded earth kind of floor in here. So let's see, how far over do we want to be? We want it to be kind of right off this little service pathway. I guess you could call it. Let's see here. Be a little bit off, like right about here. And then, this is going to be a fairly big workshop because it has to support like this entire thing. So, I want to kind of keep that in mind here. And it's partially going to have the actual mine entrance is going to be kind of part of the workshop. Now let's go over a little bit more. There. Okay. So now, hmm, the flooring will be different for the mine entrance though. So let's do see how much space should we have for the workshop itself measure real quickly because I wasn't paying attention to my numbers when I put all this down 40 might be good what's our total our total is 70 so yeah 50 that looks good. I think that looks good. And we're just going to do it like this. I'm not going to worry about putting in any kind of a wall or dividing barrier at this point in time. All right. There we go. It's 
kind of our edge here as we go along. This will require a little bit of terraforming. Um, oops, it's getting dark. Really don't want to deal with the darkness. Okay. So, oh, look at that. Flowers hanging in the sky. I do want it to go all the way back. All right. So here's where the terraforming is going to come in in just a second. I'm just going to get rid of a few of these things here because I don't want them hanging around. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to jump into our creative tools here. And I want this to be. Just a simple grass right there. Okay. Enter for our nice leveling grid. And it's already set where I want it, so that's all good. I kind of get a good view and then just right click, brings it all down to roughly where I need it to be. The tricky part is the higher elevation stuff because that doesn't really come down quite as easily. And then I'll go back later and I will kind of round off this mountain that I'm carving chunks out of right now so that it looks a little bit better behind it. But it's easier, I've found, to go back and do that later than it is to try and keep up with it as you're going. And then just to kind of see what we're working with here. Okay, so see this is actually somewhat of a giant hole on the side of the mountain right here. There we go. Look at that. That kind of is actually a cave. Unfortunately, it's really not the kind of cave that I'm looking for. So, I'm going to, hey, fill it in. There we go. I'm just going to level this all off completely because that's not really the type of cave that I was looking for. So we're not going to deal with that. Now we're going to go over here to add things in our placement tool and once you select blocks I for your inventory I know there's really no great help text for this part which can be a little frustrating we're looking for dirt here we go 213 double click on that there we go click once there run all the way down here click again and then right click to place so left click run for a while left click again and right click just a nice quick and easy way like with this I'm just filling in a huge floor this is not going to have any kind of a oops um, it's not gonna have any kind of a basement in this at all so I can just go in and lay out my floor I don't have to worry about what's gonna go below it now let's see here I want this to be a very spacious workroom so that puts us at 30 yeah I want to be at 50 so right there yeah we'll do that and then come across this back area here will get filled back in so to speak with actual terrain <laughs> um, well 
Yeah. All right, we're going to do a little bit more removal here. Just a little bit more. I just really do want this to be kind of nice and even. And it's going to be interesting going back and filling in the terrain later, but that's okay. It will be a fun little challenge. And what's over here? Nothing. Good. It's like, um, there's a very dark space here. What's going on? Nothing is going on. It's my overactive imagination is what's going on. That's all that really is. Okay. Um, yeah. Just kind of smooth that out a little bit. Because we're going to have to put a roof on this too. So, got to kind of keep that in mind here. All right. Now, how tall do we want this to be? It's got to be pretty tall. So, let's see here. 20? Yeah, I think so. I'm going to get rid of a little bit of the mountain here as we go. Oops. I don't really intend to go into it that much. There we are. Okay. All right, now let's see if this will come all the way across. It might not. Yeah, no, it won't come that far. That's okay. That's okay. This is where being in creative mode and flying is just really handy because we can just do this. I wasn't really counting how far I was going with anything, so. Line up here, and then just kind of keep flying backwards. Whoops. We don't want to fly, we don't really want to change our angle. That's the tricky part of that. There we go. Oops. One extra. Just get rid of that. Okay. Actually, a few extra because, wow, we were nowhere near as far up as we needed to be with that. There we go. Now, the back wall is going to be all solid stone because it's going to be backed up against the side of a mountain. So, obviously, there's absolutely no need to have any kind of windows in that. So, to make this nice and simple, F6, I for our inventory, and then let's see here, which one are we using? Actually, the better idea would have been to check and see which one we were using before we started this, but, you know, hindsight being 2020, here we go. 39. So, there. We're going to move the starting point, so right shift, right up there. Now that we have it going all the way across like that, fly mode off for a minute here, then we can just use the arrow keys to go all the way across, and it's pouring rain, so obviously we're going to want to get a roof put on this thing fairly quickly. There we go, and we now have an entire wall. Man, that is a handy little tool, isn't it? Okay, now we're going to want to have this pretty high, so we'll go all the way over here, there we go, and then let's see, so that would be one, two, three, four, and I don't really need to count because I can see it right up there. Let's do a height of four. That's good. And then, then we're going to want to have some room for windows. So now I'm just going to jump back into our normal mode, so to speak. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 
Okay, all the way across here. Boom, there we go. And this is going to have a, like a loft area to it. So that's why it's so high because there's gonna be more to this. But, let's say four out and up. And I could just keep using the placement tool for this. Might be easier. But, um, yeah, I think that this is gonna have to go away. I'm very sorry, you're a lovely tree, but you're just really in the way. So, I'm afraid we can't quite have you hanging out here. There we go. There we are, all taken care of. So, let's do, hmm. I want the roof to slant down. And what do I want the roof to be? Do I want it to match anything? That's the question. Hmm. I don't think I really need it to match anything. So. That would work. Yep, that'll work. All right. Now this will change as I put the roof on, obviously. That doesn't really work with the slanting roof. So we'll be making some changes to that. But first off, let's finish the floor here. For that, I'm gonna go back into F6. I for my blocks inventory and all the way over here very very far over here there we go yay look at that our floor is done let's go ahead actually the roof might not slant very much yeah it might not Let's put this wall in, as long as we're kind of standing here. Um, back to there, and then up. And we'll just fly up to make sure that we have it where we need it to be. There we go. Yeah, so these two walls will have absolutely no windows because they're going to be basically filled in by the mountain. So the roof will slant from about here down. Let's grab that as your starting point. Go all the way over here. So it's kind of going to be like, we're gonna carve it into the mountain in a way. Perfect. And then that cow is going to have to go away. That, yep, that is. Wow, I'm good sometimes. Sometimes I'm good. Other times I don't know what the hell I'm doing. All right. Let's fill this in a little bit. Out like that, some space. There we go. Okay. Now, now we're gonna need this to come up by quite a bit because I'm gonna make this a pretty tall entrance to our mine here. Uh, let's do a couple more. Oops, not like that. 
But about like that, yes. Okay, over. Over, and page down a bit. All right, that's looking good. Now what I need is for that to come over to here, basically. Let's see here. Up. Yeah, I think that's probably going to be high enough. Well, I don't know. Now maybe the entrance should be taller. Maybe it should be. Yeah, it should be. So let's do start point there, a new end point here, and then just a couple more. I don't want to be too terribly excessive. I'm good at excessive. I really am. Very good at excessive. Okay, now we'll come up and I'm going to have it go in more. There we go. Okay. And then I will terraform everything so that the mountain kind of comes out around this. So it's not going to stick out as much and look quite as, quite as out of place. Let's put it that way. Can't really tell if that's actually far enough down. That should be though. Take a look on the other side, see if we can see. Nope, don't see anything. All right. Okay. So let's go from here to here. There we are. And then we're going to fill this in so it's even real quick. Then we're going to come down. Down, down, down. All right. There we go. So this is going to be the entrance to the mine. Let's bring this. Let's see. Go here and up, and then say three wide. Should be good. I'm sorry, Piggy. You are in the way. You are going to have to go away wide. There we are. And then just kind of think how tall I want the doorway to be. Oops. That's probably good, right? Yeah, that's probably good. Then is going to come across, but not all the way. So it's about four in. Let's do a little bit more than that. Five. Ten. Yeah. So the entrance, side entrance, will come in here. That'll be good. And up we go. Perfect. Um, don't want, I don't want the side entrance to be quite as big as the main entrance. It doesn't need to, it doesn't need to look as impressive. There we go. We can always add to that later or change it as we so desire. Now, this is not going to be grass. However, it's also not going to be dirt. Let's go back into our inventory, go down to our natural blocks down at the bottom of the list here. This is going to be stone. So we're going to go here. 
on new start point there. And across we will come here. Right through like that. There we go. I'm going to fill this area in here too. And change the time real quick. Okay, now. Oops, I wasn't paying attention to where I was typing. That happens every now and then. Okay. Perfect. So then this is all just going to be stone. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. And then this is going to get filled in so that in reality it looks like the mine starts kind of right about in here somewhere is where that's actually going to start so that sheep is going to go away at some point. All right. Now, let's go back to our actual blocks here. Apply for this. I can turn my light off. I really don't need that. Okay, so there's our starting point. That's going to be our ending point. There we go. And I did say that this was going to slope, and then I changed my mind. It's not going to slope. It's really going to look like this thing was mostly carved out of the side of the mountain. Okay, I'll just come down a little bit. There we go. Perfect. And we'll get the roof put in. There we go. All right. Not too shabby. Okay. Just do a few more little things with this. It's five. That's probably good. I don't know how I'm going to get those stupid animals out of here because they don't respond when you smack them anymore. Oh, look, missed a spot. Now I need light so I can see. And I just made it daytime, too. It shouldn't be doing that. Okay. Now, let's see how big are we going here. Five? Okay. Yeah, that's probably good. So over here, oops, there we go. Let's do five for this one as well. There we go. One, two, three. Oh, you're up there. Apply to look at this. There we go. Okay. That's a good outline. Except that I want to fill all this in. I want to fill all this in. There we go. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, I think that's probably a good outline, a good start. Now, Let's go and this has to be done rather carefully. So this will all get smoothed out later, but at the moment I need it to come out. That it looks like whole area. That 
was all built in to the side of the mountain, which is a little bit easier said than done in reality. Let's make this a little smaller. How are we looking inside? Clipping through? Yeah, little bits, but nothing too bad. Let's take a look over here. Clipping through a little bit, but not too bad. Okay. There we go. We'll all just kind of be smoothed and pushed back so that it doesn't look like a bunch of squares. <laughs> sticking out. And I could switch it up. I could switch it to the circle and do that. Um, I suppose it doesn't really matter. Oops. I do typically like the square a little bit more because sometimes I find it to be more manageable. But in all reality, it doesn't really truly matter that much. Okay. The trick is, I do want to get everything in here looking like this entire thing was carved out of the side of a mountain. So, that means that we really don't want to have blank spaces in it, because that will really ruin that carved out of the side of a mountain look. That is what we're going for. Okay. And we do want to be able to take some aerial shots too, which is why I'm going in and making sure that the top part of this gets filled in as well so that there's no odd little holes, so to speak, when we go flying around our finished product. Okay. All right, now I think it's time to smooth it all out. For this, I will switch back over to the circle, and I'm going to make it a lot bigger. And we're going to kind of start at the top, because square rock formations are really not terribly natural. This part is kind of time consuming. Going through, clicking to smooth everything down. So that is something that you do have to consider when you're playing with terrain is whether or not it's really worth all the effort that it's going to take to make it look more natural when you're done. Let's see here. All right. Ooh, it does, like, my finger starts to hurt after a while. It's like, okay, you've been clicking really repetitively for a while now. Like, I know, I know, and I'm not done, so <laughs> tough it out. Okay. We want to kind of make sure that the edges between where the actual mountain was and where our artificial mountain begins kind of blend in nicely. So we might go back over everything with, say, the paint tool to get it all to blend in. Um, this mountain behind our house here, this is probably going to end up having less vegetation on it. It's going to look more rocky when I'm done with it because I'm going to paint it to kind of blend in with this huge rock outcropping here. So it will 
will look a little less pretty and green and a little bit more, well, I don't want to say necessarily boring, but maybe a little bit more, um, what's the word I'm looking for? A little bit more aggressive, a little bit more intimidating maybe. Uh, like it wouldn't look like something you would really want to go climbing on. It would look a little bit more like something that, you know, you're like, oh gosh, kids, don't go play on that mountain. It's really steep, really rocky, you'll get hurt. That, that kind of a feel is what it's really going to end up with here. Oh. Okay. Now, you can, I'm mostly, ooh, man, tired hand and wrist. I'm mostly left clicking to bring the rock down to soften out these jagged edges, but you can right click to raise it up in kind of a smoothing fashion as well. So like we can go over here and just right click to kind of bring this all out, smooth it so that it looks a little bit more natural. We can do it that way right along here. You just want to keep in mind as you're doing this that where your cursor is, that's going to be the center of what you're working on. So it's going to kind of move out from there. And then of course you just change the size of your circle or your square depending on what you're doing. Um, if you really just want to affect a smaller area. See, this kind of just brings it all out here. It's out so it looks much more, much bigger. And in some ways, coming up, bringing it up like this is going to be easier than trying to smooth it down. So keep that in mind as well. Sometimes it might be a lot easier to flatten something and then use the smoothing tool to have rock kind of grow out instead of trying to smooth rocks down. And then of course a lot of this really is just, it's trial and error. You'll make some changes and then decide that you really don't like them. So then you redo them and that's okay. You know, it takes, it takes a while to really kind of figure out exactly how you want it to look and everything's going to look different. That's something that I do really enjoy about this game is that it's the type of game where everything really can be different. Uh, it's, it's actually pretty easy to have a lot of differences in this game between things that different people are doing and even between different projects that you do yourself. There's going to be a lot of differences which is really cool. Okay, and I'm not opposed to having some rock inside our build here, um, kind of add to that whole carved out of rock feel that we have going on here, just kind of trying to bring the edges out so that it looks a little bit more carved out of the side of the mountain here. So that it's kind of like, you know, it, we carved it out of the side of the mountain and then put in these supports to prevent the ceiling from falling on us kind of a thing. Is sort of what I'm thinking here. Okay. How's that looking outside? Not too bad. Not too bad. Wow, what was that? Something walking on something. Now you can see we really kind of got inside here. This we are going to want to kind of get rid of. Um, so let's think about how we want to do that.
the best way might actually end up being to just take oh, let's smooth the outside of this out first let's let's finish the outside so to speak before we go playing too much along the inside there we go it's a shame that you can't kind of click and hold to have it smoothed down that would be much easier on your fingers at least it would on mine I don't know I get the funny feeling that I'm going to end up with arthritis in my fingers technically that probably means I already have arthritis in my fingers but we'll ignore that for the time being okay so the top looks good so now I need these bottom well not the bottom I need the sides to smooth out and fill out in some cases um we do want this to look yeah as natural as possible I mean, to an extent this is not going to look natural because let's face it it's not natural it's completely artificial so it's not really going to blend in perfectly with everything else that is in the world it's just not going to happen but we do want to come kind of as close as we can fill this in a bit kind of fill these sides out a bit more here and you do want to think about the entire line of the mountain when you're doing stuff like this and you can see here that does not look you can see an actual seam so if I go through and kind of paint the bottom edges let's go all the way around here I might want to bring that side up a little bit more but we use the paint tool kind of make the bottom seem a little bit more like it matches and then we can sort of make it seem like the texture of the rock changes as you climb so that way our rock doesn't look quite as out of place because everything will look everything on the lower elevations will look that way that is a goat halfway into a mountain hello there my friend how are you got yourself a little stuck did you okay all right so I think that's probably far enough over now the bottom levels are all going to match and then I don't really want to have this giant hole right here by the house so we're going to kind of fill this in a bit let's just smooth that on in oh look there's a sheep down there I wouldn't stay down there if I were you my friend oops no no choice oh well oh well there we go there we go kind of smooth this out a little bit and it's time to change the time again there we go okay now oof, make this really small kind of try and bring this out little bit more yeah that's really kind of not going to be terribly possible okay let's take a look over here we could have a little we could have a little bit more rock over here come on, come on just a little bit no it doesn't really want to okay have that come in a little bit more just a little just a little there we go perfect 
Perfect, perfect. All right, let's take a look up here. Anything else up here? There really kind of is, like this back part really needs to come out, needs to be filled in. Doesn't look very natural the way that it is. Bring a little bit of that out. Okay. And then this is way too abrupt, so we're gonna have to bring that out so that it's more gradual. We want it to look a bit more natural, so what we can do is reduce that right down there and then work on bringing some of this up a bit more so that it seems like a better transition between the two because right now it does not seem like a good transition at all not even remotely close to being a good transition it's up I've come all the way around definitely see it definitely helps to have it be a more gradual transition. It looks a lot more realistic than if it's just a very abrupt change to the landscape. You want to think about how it's going to blend in. Yep. Yeah. Now. About as big as I can get it. Let's do this cliff face here does kind of stick out a little bit more than I really want it to, but not really the end of the world. I don't really want to spend three hours on terraforming. I'm sure you guys really don't want to watch three hours of terraforming either. So now Let's let's get rid of some of this stuff. Let's go in here. And just kind of push this stuff back. Now we're gonna wanna make this a bit smaller because we have to be careful that we're not messing up our entire mountain as we do this. Go. And this side, come on, come on, just need you part in here to go away. This whole entire part needs to go away, go away, go away, far away. Come on. Of course it doesn't really want to go away quickly. We may have to actually do some true removal. Yeah, I think we will have to. All right. So, there we go. And this is very echoey in here. Come on. And I could use the terrain leveling tool, except for the fact that this goes up the wall. So that's going to be a problem <laughs> because that doesn't really work. The leveling tool is really just for ground level. It doesn't work so well when you want to get rid of something that's climbing up the side of a wall. So we're back to the good old fashioned hammer. Not that there's really anything wrong with the old fashioned hammer. It really does work just fine. This is the part where we're gonna have to fly. And if you're careful when you're flying, you can interact with what's around you. You just have to be very careful that you're not flying too far and like ending up in the wall because then you really can't interact with anything. But if you're cautious, do it all correctly, it works. Okay. Now, 
now, I want to put in our second floor here. And then we're going to start working on details for the first floor. The second floor is primarily going to be storage. So I'm going to have to figure out, ooh, I would love to make something that looks like a pulley system that they would use to bring stuff up to the second level. But that's kind of difficult. So I don't know. We'll see. Possibly, possibly not. We'll kind of see how that goes. All right. Almost got this cleared out. Yep. Very cautiously. Partly because when you're flying, it's very easy to go too far, and then you're hammering at things that you don't want to be hammering at. Okay. Go. Yay, we're almost done. I promise. Um. And I, oof, I can't decide if I want the second floor to be stone or wood. Um, I think wood. I think we'll do wood. Yeah. Yeah, I think wood will look better. Okay, so. Do that and. We'll have. We'll have an open space for, theoretically, a pulley system. I'm, I don't really know for sure if I'm going to build it. I'm honestly not sure. But I'm going to leave an open space for it. So that at least there is the, the idea that we could possibly have a pulley system. If it doesn't actually get put in, that's... It's not really going to break my heart, got to be honest. Okay. Well, let's see what's it look like over here. Wow. It's dark over here. That's what it looks like. Really dark. Okay. Why do I have that like that? I shouldn't. Went a little overboard with the placement tool. That's what happened here. So we're just going to take these out real quick. Really quickly. Sort of. Hopefully. Maybe. We'll see. All right. Now... The doorways are going to be tricky because I want them to look like they're big enough that you could kind of back a freight wagon into the workshop to load or unload, but we don't actually have doors that are that big in the game, and you cannot resize the doors that we have in the game. So... It's not going to be 100% authentic is, I guess, kind of where I'm going with that. Hey, Piggy. Um, go away. Thank you. Very good. All right. Just kind of get rid of some of this stuff right here at the front. Okay. All right. We're going to do the workshop first. Then we're going to work on the entrance to the mine. 
because the two are really connected, but they are somewhat separate. I know. Wonderful to be confusing, right? So first off, let's figure out our spacing for the doorways. So we've got 40 here. Um, okay, so a standard door is two blocks wide. Oh, and I would want, what, at least four? So the eight, let's just go with 10. So let's see, two, three, four, five. Spacing of 10 there. Let's come in one, two, three, four, five. Spacing of 10. I do want the doors themselves to be fairly close together. So yeah, that'll be, that will do. Okay. Um, yeah, because this would take forever. If I don't, we're just, we're going to do it this way. 39. Yes. Um, point, end point, page up. It is, yep, yeah, just the one wide. Okay. There we go. Start point, end point, back way up, page up, up, up. There we go. And then the last one, start, end, up really convenient little tool if you're doing a creative build really convenient now let's think about how tall we want these doors to be um definitely taller than the standard door but how tall does that translate to so a standard door is about four Eight? Really? Do we want them to be? Yeah. I think we do. I think we really do. So, there we go. Okay. Now, jumping back into our handy dandy placement tool. There we go. There we go. Oops. There. Perfect. Okay, so those are going to be the doorways to our workshop. Ha <laughs> ha, Hansen, I am not early. I am not early. The time changed. So right now, it is almost 10 a.m. So I have been streaming for almost an hour. Okay, I decided that we needed a workshop and I'm trying to make it look like it's carved out of the side of this mountain. That's not necessarily going terribly well. That's a bit of a pain trying to make that look like it's carved out of the side of a mountain. My terraforming skills are out of practice. <laughs> yes, yes. But don't worry, because I am downloading these and putting them up on YouTube. So you will be able to go back and watch the entire thing later. All right. So this is going to be, all right, here, let me go out a little bit here. All right. So this is going to be our workshop and entrance to the mine. This part over here is going to be the workshop. And this part over here is going to be a mine entrance. Right now I'm trying to focus on the workshop. I would like to get the entire workshop and maybe the mine entrance done today. So I do plan to go for the full three hours. So I'll be here for another two since I've been on for one. So these are going to be the doorways, which they're really going to be kind of jury rigged because we don't have any actual way to have doors this big, but I want doorways that look like you could conceivably pull a freight wagon 
into the workshop to load and unload. So that's why I am having them, keeping them that big. Now, this is gonna have a second level that's going to be primarily storage. So these are nine, that's at nine. Really, Cat? Yes. Yes, I terraformed the space flat, put this up, and then started terraforming land back over the top of it. All right, so, yeah, about there is probably a good space, except for the fact that I don't want to do the floor for this out of stone. I want to do this out of wood, which I completely managed to space on, and that was a block I did not intend to break. Okay. So I do have to decide what wood I want to make this out of. And <laughs> yeah, we're just going to do this. I've been doing a lot of this using the F6 placement tool because that's really so much simpler. <laughs> I love this tool. Let's do, yeah, 75 or 74, 75 or 74, 75. I think that looks good. All right, so up, yeah, like about like that, right? Let's see, yeah, that's just one up, okay. So we've got that in that corner, all the way over to this corner. I need light to see what I'm doing, okay. Now, where's my three? There we go, one. Damn it, that is not what I wanted. Okay, fine, we'll go into F7, removal. Start there. And all the way to there, delete. Now, why did it not that? 74. All right, now we're good. I don't know what it was doing there. Okay. Oops. Let's fix the time real quick here so that we can sort of see what we're doing. Cat, if you cannot curl up and not move, you're going to leave. Okay, does this go to the edges all the way around? I believe it does. Let's make sure. Yeah, not quite. That's okay. That's okay. We can just fill that in. There we go. All right. So, the second level will be storage, basically. Nothing terribly exciting here. Let's put that in. That chicken wants to climb into our workshop. We'll have to get rid of him later. Okay. Even this up. There we go. And I'll decide later where I want to have an entrance to the top floor. I'll work that out later on. Okay. So we should have a standard door somewhere. This is what? That's 10 across. There we go. All right, that'll be our standard doorway. And then these will be, hmm. I'll probably do these out of planks and beams 
to make it look like there's actually a big doorway there. Uh, oh, I need to really get rid of some stuff here. A lot of stuff. It's amazing how much you accumulate when you're working and not paying attention. Yes, I have it just coming through my headphones instead of coming through the stream so that I can kind of hear. I have it turned up a little bit louder. So I think if I play this normally, it's going to interfere with how well you guys can hear what I'm doing. I try and plug in the headphones and see what that does. Let's see here. All right. Here's my dumping ground. Rid of everything. Random stuff falling from the sky. There we go. All right. Now, let's see here. What would be the most realistic door for that? Door. Yeah, that might be. Let's do that. Yep, and I'm going to hold on to that because I'm going to want it for later. Okay. There's your standard entrance. Let's see. We're going to need a lot of lights in here because it's very, very dark. I don't want modern lights though. I don't want to do that. So, there we go. As much as I love those, I don't want to do that either. I just think those look really cool. So, lanterns, ceiling. Mm. Maybe we'll do those. Yeah. Now, we are going to need something to mount them on. I'm going to need a ladder too. Let's do that one. Actually, no. Let's do a metal ladder. There. Now, construction. Mm, what would look good? What would look good? Lighter or darker? I think something darker would look better. That'll kind of match the lanterns hanging from it. Okay. Oops. That did not take. There we go. All right. So... Lay that down. I don't want it to stick too far out. So let's shorten that up. Maybe a little bit more. Yeah. I'm also gonna make that a little bit skinnier. And I want these to be let's see. So Okay. Okay, so there's your outside lights. A little bit low, but that's okay. Then I'm going to want the ladder to go. Mm. Go through right up there. But not right now. Not right now. Now we need lighting inside. That's going to be a little bit tricky. Hmm. 
Hmm. Ooh. You know what? Let's do that. Is that? No. How big can we make this? All right. How's that going to look? No, because it won't really be. You can't see it. Okay. That's good. So I want these to look like support beams going across. Obviously, they're not. It's purely cosmetic, but I want them to look like it. And then we're going to suspend the lanterns from the beams. So let's see here. Yeah. Counting is always a little annoying. actually what I should do turn that off and then have it just be the width of this so let's see yeah have that go around there all right cat you are driving me crazy you've got to sit up there so sorry End of story. Whew, okay, now we'll turn this back around. And that will be our determining factor for spacing will be just really the width of one of these. Go back. This will take a lot of work, but I think it's going to look really cool. And we'll see. See how much gets done today. I don't know. I really don't. This could take a while. This could be a very lengthy project. Okay, turn this again. Back and forth we go. Oops. It's hard to make sure that it lines up to the grid when you're flying because your actual position can be a little off. One more. Oh. There we go. That's not really going to come perfectly even. Oh well. It's not the end of the world if it's not perfectly even. I will endeavor to not be quite that OCD about the whole thing. Um, however, that one's going to have to be a little bit more even. It really is. Okay. I wonder if it'll flip on its own. Will it? It almost does. Almost does. Come on. No, not. Okay. That's okay. I don't really expect it to be 
perfect like that. How are we doing over here? Okay. Flip this around again. Okay. Oh, I am going to swap back to actual sound. The headphones are kind of irritating after a little while. Oh, okay. And then, based on the amount of light that we're going to need, I think that I'm going to end up putting lanterns at basically every little cross beam. I think that's probably going to be. Let's go up. There we go. And then we'll see if this is kind of enough light or if we're going to need even more light. I will probably do more lights at the, whoops, a little too high, wherever I put the workbenches because that, you know, that'd be realistic. Um, oops, that didn't really work out. But <laughs> we're also sort of pretending that they would actually have a way to turn all these lights on and off because this is a lot of lights. And in reality, they would not actually have a way to turn them on and off. But we're going to pretend that they do. And then that's not a problem. Yeah. Other way, other way. There we go. There. There. There we go. Sometimes I'm going a little too quickly for the system to really catch up with me. Okay. Yep, we're going across. Okay. And again. I don't really know exactly what I'm going to do with short pieces. I'll probably just shorten up the beam and put those pieces over there. I like the contrast between the lighter wood of the blocks and the darker wood of the beam. I think that looks pretty good. There we go. Over here trying to move and I'm going to fly myself right into a wall. That'll be great, right? Turning myself the wrong way. Get myself all turned around. There we go. Pick up the pace a little bit. I think it's time to put down more lanterns. And they might not be enough light. They might be too high to provide adequate light. We'll see how it looks when I get them all in. But yeah, it might might not work, especially once I put doors on those two places and light gets closed off. It will have like this side here, that's going to be an open a window. 
because you would want, one, you'd want light, two, you would want ventilation. So there will be that, but that might not really be enough. I don't know. We'll see. Come on. There we go. We will see. We will see. And then I haven't decided how I'm going to make this work. I don't think that's, yeah, that's not spaced correctly. But I would like to have an area that at least looks like <laughs> it's going to have a lift or a pulley system to bring stuff up to the second level. So somewhere, somehow, I'm going to put that in. I haven't quite figured out how I'm really going to make that work. It might be purely for, well, it will be purely for looks. It's not like a pulley system would work. But it might just have the space for one. I might not actually get, oops, I might not actually get a, anything that looks like a pulley put in. I'm not sure. I've seen it done, or I've seen the end result, but in terms of exactly how to get it, I don't know. So that's going to be, that's going to be a challenge. So we'll see how that goes. Yep. Oops. Don't really want to fly through the ceiling. Yeah, that's not really. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to take those out. I don't like the way it looks. I think I just missed one. Yep. Oops. Go. Okay. There we go. Let's worry about that later. I'm letting myself get distracted here. I need lights. And then trying to decide. <laughs> Well, I'm glad you're still here. I'm trying to decide which area I want to have the smelting furnaces in. I'm not sure exactly um, if they should be like over here next to where the ore is going to come in because the ore will come in through this side door here. So it can come right in and come into the smelting furnaces here. Or I could put them on that wall and then try to do something that looks like a chimney coming up out of this. But I don't really know how I would do the chimney. So I'm not sure about that yet. Decisions, decisions. That goes all the way to the back. Perfect. This does actually provide a pretty good amount of light because you can tell, let me turn off my light, it's dark outside and this is pretty well lit up. So I think this is going to work. Um, I will put a few more lights down by workbenches because it would make sense that they would need more light, basically. All right, why are you not putting out light? There we go, okay. Okay, now we need to shorten this up.
There we go. Uh, a little bit longer. There we are. Okay. Perfect. Now, now I need these to go in on the rest of them. Oh look, beautiful starry sky. As lovely as that looks, I think we're going to go ahead and have daylight again. Okay. All right, now do I have this pretty well, yeah, all the way around pretty much, okay. All right, so that works pretty well in terms of lighting. Um, Now, where am I going to put the furnaces? I want to put the furnaces down first because they're so much bigger than everything else that they're kind of going to dictate where everything else goes. Oof. First, I think I need to start a fresh cup of coffee. I will be right back. coffee run. My, it's very cold when I move out of my study. Okay. My coffee is up. My dog is outside. So I have a couple of minutes. And I decided where the furnaces are going. Stations, large smelting furnace, or big smelting furnace, whatever. Okay. I'm going to put them over here. Because... I think it makes the most sense to have them close to where the ore is going to be coming in. So we're going to start in the corner and we're going to set this up really as if it were a very big operation, basically. Yep, that goes all the way to the side. Okay. Now, I want to make sure that we have enough room to go in between them. I think we want to go over by one more. There we go. Because you have to be able to actually get to the little furnace. So that was like, what, one and a half, basically, one and a half. We'll say that. Yeah, over one more. Okay. All right, three furnaces should be good. Now, <laughs> now I'm going to brick them in. So, let's see.
stone bricks. This is almost kind of close to what they actually have. That one's not. That was my dog barking to come in. She can wait a minute. My coffee's not ready yet. Let's do 28. Let's take a quick look at that. What does that look like? Not bad. Let's do that. Yep. And yeah, it's really going to come kind of right out to the edge. Hi, welcome. Up on the back of the chair you go. Okay. Now, this is going to screw up the lighting above it, and I know it will. But there's really nothing to be done about that. Are any of these really? This one is perfectly placed. Perfectly. That one is really not. Really not at all. So you'd almost want to go up two over three and then. I think we will. I think I will. There we go. That one stays because that one is actually perfectly positioned. I'm going to have four. So let's put one there and put it right there. That should still give me enough space to get to that. Okay. Sky back. And not quite, but yeah, like that. There we go. So, FYI, the trick for having these look good when you're doing custom work around them is to place your stones and then place these. Okay. Now, we are going to lose the lighting behind it, but that's okay. Okay, these all nicely bricked in, and then we're just going to have a little entrance right here. My dog is now very irritated with me because I didn't come right away, so that you can reach that. All right, we can still, yep, perfect. So this side will be completely bricked up. There we go. This side will be mostly bricked up. And we will actually use the space here for something else as well. I'm going to see if my cup of coffee is ready and let my dog in before she screams enough to irritate the entire neighborhood. I think that'll look good though. Yeah, I think that'll look good. I'm going to put stone hearths in front of them too.
Okay, I have my coffee. My dog has been let out and back in, so we are good for another hour and a half. <laughs> okay, so let's close up these real quick. There we go. Perfect. This is the height of four, yep. So, yeah. we'll work on the spacing over here. Way up, up, and up. There we go. And then I am going to also go over our ceiling up there with stone because realistically you really wouldn't want to have a lot of you really wouldn't want to have wood really near stone so theoretically actually here we could even do this go into F2 and then up above each furnace brick everything solidly in look there's your little vent hole for the furnace that's cute I don't think I've ever actually stood on top of one of these and looked down into it but that's pretty neat um, And you can, yeah, just completely kind of seal the whole thing up, leaving this little area left behind. So if we did that on the sides, go across the back, you can totally, oops, you can seal them in provided that you can get yourself out of the way, <laughs> like that. Um, put that, into that one. Not really going to be quite as extensive in here. Nobody's going to see it, but we'll just brick up this right there. There we go. Okay. And then the last one. Hmm. We'll just not bother having this right here. We, we don't really need it. And I am going to utilize the space for something else, which you guys will see in just a moment. Well, jump right up here, fill this in while we're doing this. Oops, missed a spot. There we go. Perfect. Did I leave three or two on the others? That's three. This one that I can barely get to, yes, they're all three. Okay. So, but I did only leave four for the doorway. So let's kind of close that up a little bit. This one will just have a bit of a wider doorway. That's okay. We will utilize that space so that it seems realistic for it to have a wider doorway. All right. So, Sorry, buddy. You're going to have to go. There we go. It doesn't quite look realistic to have a lamp half stuck in the wall. Well, it is cold and it isn't cold. <laughs> um, we're actually having some really nice spring weather. Highs in the 40s and 50s. But the nights are still like down in the teens. So it's our weather is improving, but winter is not over. <laughs> Let's put it that way. How about where you are? Is it warming up? Have things improved for you? No. Okay. Perfect. Our three furnaces here. Now, 
really quickly. Um, actually, I don't know. This might or might not work. Let's see. Move that out of the way real quick. That is 28. Let's look at, yep, 28. A quick peek here. What's that going to do? Nope, that's going to block that. Okay. Cold, miserable, and wet with an odd day of sun. Yeah. Well, I would honestly not be surprised if March decided to go out with a blizzard. That really would not be terribly abnormal for us. People would be horrified by that. Our winter this year has been longer than we've had in the last few years. And it has also been much colder. And we've had a lot more snow because it's cold. The snow stays. So I think people are kind of having... mild panic attacks almost going through withdrawal they're like no it's supposed to be nice weather I'm like well that's a nice idea go argue that point with mother nature let me know how that works okay there we go we're gonna have the nice solid stone hearth in front of our said we had hotter than Portugal. Hmm. I would love to go spend a little bit of time someplace nice and warm and sunny. That would be that would be wonderful. Be warm. Okay. I don't know. Maybe I should go out more than three. What do you think? Should I have the stone hearth kind of be just the three wide or should I go farther with it? I could do four or five. It's not like we're in danger of running out of room. I think we have plenty of space. So maybe five. Yeah, maybe five. We could do that. We could do that. That. There we go. Ooh, and here's another thought. Should it really match? No, I think it should. I think it's fine that it matches, but I do think I should go further out. And then I'm going to put, let's see, we'll do some sort of beam. No, maybe not actually a beam. Maybe we'll actually utilize these up here. No, we won't. I changed my mind. Again, we're going to do the beams. We're going to do the beams to hang the lights off of. Of course, when the furnaces are lit, light will come off of them because, you know, fire. But they're not always going to be lit. So we're going to want some lamps for when they're not. And I think we're going to have the lamps be a little bit different than the ones up on the ceiling. Just because. <laughs> Let's do do those. So up on the ceiling, it makes more sense to have closed in lamps because, you know, the wood beams, the wood floor, all that. But down on level floor, why is this not really like, there we go. Okay. Now you can be a little bit smaller. And a little bit shorter. Yeah, like about like that. And I'm going to put these up higher. We'll do 
that. And that. Put those there. I think that's good. Let's see. Then I'm gonna do one hanging just inside of each entrance way. There we go. Okay, now I was gonna bring this out further. As night falls again, we need to get some doors in this place. Anything could come in. Not that there's really much of anything out there to come in, but it's the idea, right? It's the idea that something could come in. Lady De Winter keeps talking about when Red is going to put mobs in the game. She keeps freaking me out. I'm like, wait, is he doing that soon? I don't think he is doing that soon. I think... I think we'll probably get transportation methods before we get monsters, I hope. And I really hope that he doesn't do zombies. I will be so horribly disappointed if that's what he does. I think there are more than enough zombie games out there. And a lot of what makes this game so much fun is the level of realism. It's just so wonderfully realistic. I want horses. But yes, I would prefer boats over trains. And I think he probably will do it that way just because he's been really good at adhering to a logical progression in terms of technology and civilization advancement. So I don't think he's going to suddenly go from no transportation to, hi, here's some trains for you guys. I don't think he's going to do that to us. But that's, again, that's my thought. It's not like I have a clue what's going on, really. Okay. Now, go. Go. Um, I actually probably need to do a couple more in there, but just one moment. And sh wrong one. I want saw bench. Chests. Here we go. Oh. And medium. So. There's our small one. Oh, it's not going to want to do that. Okay. There we go. So the other one's not going to want to do this. There. And there. Then over here. We're going to do this big fella. Okay. And we're going to have to fly a little bit to make that work. There we go. make use of kind of all of our space options here. So you would have coal stored in these for easy access. Just kind of putting in whatever fits, really. There we are. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm going to put the, the anvils are going to be like further 
out. Well, actually, they're going to be. Ooh. Okay. I just had an idea. Um, I have too much stuff. I'm going to have to go get rid of it soon. But first, let's do... Yeah, we're going to have to do it this way. I was thinking there was a different way I could do it, but it would be too, too modern. And I don't want to do that. Okay. So. Over here. Yeah, over here. Turn the light on. Actually, I should probably measure this out real quick. So if I do, ooh, no, because I'll need to put chests in before I know for sure. Um, pardon my scatterbrained moment there. There'll be more of those, I promise. Okay. Now, oops, I'm going to want to have it be fully done like that. Okay. So we're going to have a little bit of a room within a room, so to speak. And I've done, this is similar to something that I did previously, but it, what I did before had a more modern look. So I'm kind of trying to make sure that I have a less modern look right now. So we'll see how that goes. Oh, it is? Well, happy Mother's Day. That's awesome. Are you going to do, you have a daughter, right? Is it just the one daughter, or do you have multiple children? Oops. Of course, it won't place anything there if I'm standing there. Oh, nice. So she did come by earlier. That's great. That is great. Okay. Now, let's turn around so that it works. Yeah, no, that doesn't work. Not at all. And okay, we're not going to use the grid for that. Just that. Okay. And then this is what? Wow. Way too much stuff. Okay. This is 26. So I'm going to need a nice half block. Should be three. Yes. Okay. Um, no. Do that up there. Okay. And then. Ouch. Yeah, that should be good. So basically, the idea for this is that this is like a secure room for all of the valuable ores that they're going to bring out. <laughs> yes, well, annoying is more fun for them, so. Okay. Now that means I have to remember, I have to remember all the different ores that are in the game. 
but that'll be that'll be fun. Not only do I have to remember them, I have to spell them. That'll be really fun. My spelling is atrocious. So again, just kind of doing the double layer, basically room within a room. Um, the idea being the extra wall provides a heightened level of security because realistically having it on an exterior wall like this isn't the greatest option, but we do have the, like right here, the mountain is on the other side. So that does kind of help. You're like, well, they'd have to dig through a mountain and then a double wall to get to what's inside this little secure storeroom here. And I don't really know, I don't think I want to make it any bigger. I think I want to keep it fairly, fairly small. So you can walk in and yeah. Well, no. Maybe I should make it wider, though. Okay. First, I should grab signs. Where are those at again? There we go. Um. Mm. I don't really think I need the full-sized one. The smaller one is probably fine. That one. Okay, so. So then you would have iron. Black will stand out fine. That will be perfect. Silver. gold, and so on. But, <laughs> oh good, thank you. Well, let's see, maybe I do want it to be wider. Oh, and I can make it taller too. We're going to do that. So one moment while I tear up half of what I just built. <laughs> there we go. And then, yeah, we're going to be, we're going to make this wider. Actually, we're going <laughs> we're going to do this part the easy way. There we go. <laughs> so much easier. Um, although, you know, do something else the easy way too. Let's see. That. There. Down. And over. much? Yeah, that might be good. We'll see. If I decide that I want more later, I can always make it be more later. Turn that light off. It's annoying me. There we go. Now, oops. Come on, I am not standing on top of it. Fussy thing. have to have some ladders in here to reach the ones that are higher up. There we go. 
So basically the idea with this is just that there's so many more kind of layers of protection that people would have to get through oops, to get to anything in this room that it should be safe by like putting it up another level, by putting kind of this double wall and all of that, that should make it secure. So there we go. And then it should be good if I bring this over. You have to have a doorway into here. There. there we go. Okay, that's five. Only need four. And then this is what, six? So we can do that, that. There we go, and your doorway is going to be right there. All right, so now, second layer in. There we go. Come on. Sometimes it cooperates better than others. Yeah, I hope not to. Um, and I mean, realistically, like the way that I'm doing this now, this is really more for looks than it is for anything else, you know? Um, I really want to give the, the appearance of a very heavy duty, solid, what we put in here is really important and nobody can get to it. I want to give that impression. So that's, that's really the reason, not because I'm honestly thinking anything is going to try and break into it. Partly because it, you never know. Some of these updates might really only affect new worlds. Okay, and we can, yep, we can put a third one up. Just gonna have to fly a little bit to do that. Ooh, not like that. That should be enough. Spin that back around. There we go. And we now have a room full of valuables, theoretically. Okay, now you're going to need ladders to actually get to all of this. There we go. One on either side of the door going up. And then over here as well. How much space did I leave? Just one? Okay. Oops. There we go. All right. So now you can get to everything that you've just put up there. Let's go ahead and put, 
put our signs back on all of these. Pretty neat though, I mean technically, let's, let's try this. Technically you can reach the one on the top shelf. So you don't really totally need the ladders, but in reality, you would not be able to reach the storage crate sitting on the top shelf with this, so. We do want to have the ladders because otherwise it really just looks ridiculous. Okay. So, the other thing that we want to have Guidepost. Okay, but what about just the just the pointy sign? There we go. Okay. So no. What about having the sign point the other way? back into crafting. Do I have to craft one that points? I have to craft one that points the other way. Okay. Now I've got it. I don't do a whole lot with signposts, so. Oh. All right. Wow, I really need to go and like empty, empty out my inventory. All right. So, Finished. Whoops. Raw. Wow, I apparently cannot type. There we go. So one side will have finished ores, the other side will have raw ore. And then Theoretically, you would do this. Oops. Theoretically, you would spell correctly, too. All Actually, right, let's put mithril at the very back. It's a very valuable ore. right up here. Really valuable ones up at the top. Okay. Come on. Do something less valuable. We'll put silver down here. So yeah, you would have your your raw ores over here and then directly opposite them you would have the box of finished ores. Now let's kind of finish this out here. Okay. There we go. And then if we turn like that, well, no, because that's not really going to line up properly. Yeah, I might put those, well, yeah, those might, those might stay in in the secure room with the with the raw ore. Okay. 
Yeah, I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to leave the window there. Let's fill you in. Let's see. No, because he... I don't know. I do that. Whoops. Not that. Come around here and do that. Yeah, I kind of like that. And then let's see here. Wow, I need to go clear stuff off. Um, where are, where are, where are, where are, canister? Yes, here we go, grates. Two by two, that's good. Um, I can do those. So, let's do this first. That a little bit smaller. There we go. Spin it around. The idea being, again, just kind of making it really, really difficult to actually get to and that does not line up perfectly, and I'm just going to live with it. But the idea being to make it a, like there's no direct route, kind of, you know? You really have to work to get here. And then, spin this one around. Have a normal sized grid here. And. I'm going to need, nope, nope, not that one, that one, that one back. Okay. Actually, first off, let's see here. We don't want it right next to the, what, that's seven. Six, four, yeah, there we go. Okay, now I've seriously got to go and get rid of this stuff. I've got way too much crap. I'll visit my little dumping grounds over here. Death row look. Pretty much, yeah. I'm really going for that, you know, impossible to get into, imposing feel for that. Okay, I don't think I need any of that. We're all done with all of that, I think, hopefully. If not, I can always make more. Okay. So, dude, you're not allowed in there. I know, I need real doorways here. Okay. All right, so that's our little high security vault, kind of, up there. Okay. There we are. Now, let's see. Next up would be, um, 
next up would be the anvil. I like this nice black one, but this one looks cool too. Let's go with that one. Now, we need some place to put it. I have sitting here. Nope, not that. Definitely not that. Okay. We will do, do this. 28. I think that's the same one that we used over there. Yeah. Yeah, you could say they just have, you know, extras left over, whatever. Um, we'll do that. And then that. That all, yep, that's all sitting there. Okay, so we're going to want some space here, and we have plenty of space, so I'm really not, I'm really not worried about running out of room. That's definitely not a concern here. That, and then that. Okay. I don't know. It's not bad, and it looks like it fully supports it. So I think we'll probably stick with that. And then we did what? Technically three, because I want to have room for a barrel next to each one. There isn't really going to be anything in the barrel, but theoretically, you would have, well, for one thing, you would have these huge flaming forges, um, but then you would have the water barrel because they would heat the metal, they would pound the metal, and then they would cool it very rapidly, so you had to have a water barrel close at hand. So I want to have those, let's see, maybe, ooh, you know what, let's make a couple water barrels real quick so that we have the spacing down. Under chests, barrel, um, what kind of a look do we want? We'll go with that. Unfortunately, there's no option for an open barrel. That would be really nice if there was. Let's put a couple of those down. And it'd be pretty close, right? So, like that. Actually, closer. No, but that really wouldn't work with that kind of spacing. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. All right, and I can just move the barrel. And by move, I really just mean replace. Because if I pick the stupid thing up, it's gonna wanna stay in my inventory, and I don't want that. If I did that, no, that's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. Here we go. Do one really close to that one, and then really close to that one. There we go. That's got a pretty good symmetrical look to it. All right. What's next? What's next? Hmm. I don't really know what else I really want to put back there. 
All right, not having doors is just irritating me. We're, we're going to have to put doors in. It's driving me crazy. Can't have it. Can't have it. Okay. So, first off, we're going to need some nice big beams. Actually, you know what? We're going to use the same beams that we already have. We're going to use those same ones. Now, I don't want something that really mac. Well, no. We could actually do the whole thing in this really dark look. Nah, I don't want to do that. I want something a little bit lighter for the doors. Not excessively light. That. We'll do that. All right. Now, this needs to be bigger. I'm going to need to measure this out, too. All right, so this is 10. So there's your center point. Okay. Now, of course, in reality, these are not going to be, these are going to be purely non-functional doors. But I do want them to look as though they might function. So, that needs to come all the way over. Let's see. Nope, now it's too short. All right, maybe we can't have it come all the way over. No, we cannot. So, I really want it to, though. That won't. Grr. Let's change the grid. That'll fix it. Right? Are you flush? Yeah, it's pretty much flush with it. Now let's see. And that's pretty much centered. Okay, sweet. So, let's see here. Okay, you guys have to all nicely line up. So hopefully I've got that all nicely lined up. Now is that actually, nope, that's not all the way over. Okay. Not even remotely close. But that's okay because these pieces, you wouldn't necessarily want them to actually come all the way over. I do, however, want them to be even. No. Right, when it freezes, it won't do that. Okay. Should be even though, shouldn't it? No, you're going to have to have some space. Okay. Okay, so now we have to measure these because they do need to be pretty much even. So, let's do, we're going to do this a little differently. Take those down. Okay. And we're going to put them back up, but right on top of and below those. It's easier to take the blocks out later than it is to not have, can I stand on that? Yes. Than it is to not have any sort of a reference point as I'm doing this, and it's getting dark. I don't want that. Nope, oh, nice daylight. Now, that would be six. So, right about even with that, really, right about there in the center is where 
we would want the third one to go. Careless. No, you're not going anywhere. Okay, up, 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 up. And that's right about centered. There we go. So now, we just have to repeat our measurement devices over here. Right there. Up from here. Right there. Okay. Now we can get rid of these. Perfect. Okay. You know, they don't look perfectly even. We're going to live with that because I will drive myself crazy trying to make them even if I don't just stop. Okay. So now the question becomes how tall can we get this? And I'm pretty sure the answer is not really that tall. One thing, I don't want the construction thing to come up. Let's go for width. See if we can just get it right on top of that. Is that tall enough? Two of these? Yeah. Sweet. And then once I get this the first door in and you know looking decent, then I'm just gonna blueprint it and copy it for the second door. Because this is not actually really a whole lot of fun. <laughs> Trying to figure out all this nitpicky stuff and the spacing and get this perfectly right. There we go. Okay, now we need to narrow it down. So if we do that. On. and that that is pretty much seamless I think we want like a little bit of a crack in it though just to be able to really kind of say like that's where our door is basically there we go there we go you want to be able to kind of see the center of the doors. Okay. Now, <laughs> now we need a way to open them. Um. Gosh. So we need a contrasting color for one thing, which is going to be maybe that one there. No, I think that might have been the one. No, this one. That one looks rougher. I like that one better. Okay. Turn construction mode off here. Ooh, for one thing, let's lengthen this. Make it a little bit. Yeah. Now we're gonna come back with this. Hmm. And shorten this up by a lot. Quite a lot. Yeah, we'll go ahead and make that a bit bigger. All right, is that that's even. Yes. Okay. This needs to be shorter. There we go. All right. Nothing eh, looks off about it. What looks off about it? That. That could be it. Yeah. Okay. All right.
Does that, yes, that does line up properly. So we'll come to M. M. I have one just close to the door. There we go. All right, now, now we need to turn this. And then, oh shoot, that's not close enough. Okay. All right. Let's, let's use the existing ones as markers. Oh. Right on the outside of each. <laughs> yep, with the time change. Okay, right on the outside. There we go. Get rid of these other ones. Again, straighten it up. There we go. That's not straight. That is. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> up, 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 up. Oh, can I get it to sit right on top? That would be great. Yeah. Hells yeah. Okay, this looks great. There we go. There we go. There. Okay. All right. Ooh. Now just to make it really incredibly elaborate. Let's go for a log. Same nice dark color. Okay, so it's gonna be four. And we need you to be smaller. There we go. And I also need you to actually be even. There we go. Okay. And I'm gonna, oops, we're gonna put that in the center there. Oops, gotta go a little bit further than I thought. Okay. All right, so that's effectively where that would come through. The idea being a locking pin. That would be interesting. I don't know exactly how, how I could utilize the drawbridge. Ooh, I could try and do something with the drawbridge involving the entrance to the mine. That could be interesting. That'd be very interesting. Okay. So if I have that go through like that. There we go. Let's put another one over here. then it's like locking pins preventing it from sliding out. And from being lifted up too, because they, it would go all the way through. Let's leave that open. We're gonna want that open in a minute. Okay, now. Hmm. 
that a bit wider. No, less actually. Yeah, not quite as wide. But I do want it to go up. Oof. Okay. Freeze it there. Go up. There we go. Oops, wrong way. Wrong way. There we are. And then <laughs> I am making this so much more elaborate than it really truly needs to be. But you know, what the hell? Why not? Why not? Is that pretty much? Yeah. Okay. Has to be much shorter. No, because it's the same diameter, so it doesn't work. Huh. Because I want something that almost seems like another pin that goes through on this side that holds it. Oh, I know how I can do that. I know how I can do that. Turn this. And I'm going to make that a little bit longer. Bring it up. There we go. So that's almost like one piece. So the pin can't be pulled out from the outside. There we go. That's the overall impression that I'm going for. Okay. All right, let's see here. Yeah. So the bar drops into place, preventing the doors from swinging open. And then the pins are inserted through the door and the bar from the inside, and they can only be removed from the inside. And theoretically, you can kind of just imagine that you, there would be some sort of mechanism where you have to turn the pin and pull it. That part's going to have to be left up to everyone's imagination because I don't know how on earth I could actually get that to be a thing. Okay. Oops, that needs to be a little bit longer. Now let's get the inside of the door to look decent. How's that? That's not bad. Oops, that's got to be longer. There we go. Perfect. There. There. Come on, come on. And there. Okay, now we just need shorter pieces for the very bottom and the top. How close are you to the ground? Yeah, you're pretty close. Let's make that a little bit bigger. There we go. Because I don't really want it to be directly on the ground, dragging across the ground when you move the door. That wouldn't really work. It would be a little silly. Um, those two pieces need to be longer. 
let's finish up the top though first. I think we're good. Yes. Looks good. Okay. Let's do one more little piece of overkill. That's 68. There we are. A little bit shorter. That's probably about good. There. All right. Although, placement wise. there and then bring it all the way across there we go and then i really think we're just gonna yeah we're just gonna do the one because it would be really hard for them to have multiple bars like this unless we say that they just climb this thing all the time we could do that. Yeah, let's do that. I'm deciding as I'm doing it, you know. Perfect. And then, is that the beam? That's the log. I want the beam. I want it to look like. We're gonna bit smaller and a bit shorter. Oh. So it's almost like a little sort of ladder pieces that they can climb up. And just to make the whole thing look better, we'll just have these smaller pieces come across on the inside as well but they can use these to climb it okay Ooh. not bad i could do some kind of detailing with the outside of the door but i gotta be honest i'm not going to <laughs> I'm really not going to. What we are going to do, actually, first we're going to correct the time. Then, the workbench. Miscellaneous? Yes. Okay. Find a start point. It's going to be right there. And then your end point is going to be right there. Okay. Select area. And this is going to be, actually that's a horrible photo. We're going to try that again. There. Oops. Stop flying. There to there. Okay. Slightly better. I'm just going to say large barn doors. Create. Now, we're going to run over here. 
on. I don't know if I need to create another blueprint. Yep. Large barn doors, use blueprint. Okay. Fortunately, I cannot align it to the grid, but if you left click and hold, you can hold them in place while you inspect it and then right click to finalize their placement. Okay, so there you have it. Now we have our barn doors. Arrow splits to fire. Well, yeah, you could say that. There we go. Very substantial barn doors. Um, let's see here. We need the grid not F three actual three. I got a new keyboard, so I'm still like trying to memorize placement of everything. Okay. There we go. And then you are going to be so much smaller. And you're also going to just be dirt. Really? I can't make that any smaller? Kind of a shame. Centered that a little too well. All right. There we go. Not bad. Okay. It's a shame that we can't make actual working barn doors, but in the interim, those will do. This is going to look different. I'm not going to do the same thing over here see how much space do I have here turn my little cheat light off that's 11 I don't know maybe that really shouldn't be quite so wide I, think I might shorten that up a little bit brings us to nine that puts it at eight let's keep eight and then now we're going to use more of this stuff Let's see here saw bench barriers nope not that banister okay and i want the black one yep okay so the grid to its normal size here. No, what am I doing? I'm doing this wrong. There we go. Okay, spin that back around. Grid. Why are you not, why do you not have the same alignment? You should. You are the exact same thing, you should have the same. Oh, because it's turned around. So let's get rid of that. And I'm gonna turn it all the way around again. Now it should have the same alignment, right? Yes, good. Okay. Now, what was that? 39? Okay. Go back to our block bench for a moment. 39, 39, 39. Oh, that was cobblestone. There we go. 
and we're just kind of going to seal it all in, really. So that goes all the way up that side. And then this way it looks like these were literally put into, the rods were placed all the way into the stone. I think it just gives it a little bit more of a, um, a very firm, solid look to it in a way when you do that. A good little way of finishing it up so that it looks a little heavier duty. So that means we just have this window that we need to take care of. Get rid of these little bumps over here. Go away. There we go. All right. So, I don't want anything that big, but I want to do something similar. Back to the saw bench. And I'm going to take the little two by twos. Grab those. Then fly too because that'll make this just a little bit easier. Good. And that. So they're going to end up being really, really small. Oh! Lady de Winter is online. Okay. So I will be wrapping up shortly because I do want to catch her stream and because, you know, it is almost noon. So we've been going for quite a while, almost three hours now. Okay. So we're going to do that. Bring that all the way across. And then this is where... Things that require more light will go. So like maybe the loom, theoretically you'd want some more light for that particular project. Okay. But I don't want, I don't want windows that are too big. So spacing of four. And then up to four and up. And that's going to need, actually, I think we're just going to do that little area. Okay. So there. there. Close them in a little bit. Okay, there are <laughs> the windows. All right, let's see here. Oh, I wanted an area access to the second floor. Let's do that back here. Let's do that back here. So, and then one more. Okay. So, anything that they want to bring up, they would bring back here. And I don't know. I'm going to try to figure out a way to put in something that looks a little bit like a pulley system to get stuff up here. I don't know how I'm going to do that. That's going to take a lot of experimenting. So, we'll see how that goes. But I am going to try. But this will be like the loading zone here. So 
that will be that. And then over here, let's see, where'd I put that ladder? There we go. There we go. And, yep. Okay. Let's disable the construction system. Oops, wrong way. There we go. Let's take a quick peek here. So I want to take up a little bit of the room here. Kind of giving them a way to pull themselves up. Come in. Right about there. And right about there. Well, you can obviously fall through that opening, so there's that. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's do a quick recap, and then we'll go ahead and call it a day. Now, this is really not done terraforming. Obviously, I did not really do that great of a job at the top. But basically, I flattened out all this, built the, I guess you could say, frame for the workshop and the mine entrance over there, which we really didn't get to today. And then kind of filled in the mountain around the workshop a little bit. I'm probably going to fiddle with this off camera because it in no way, shape, or form looks good. Yes, I know. That's, that's why I'm wrapping up. <laughs> um... So we've got the barn doors, which are blue printed. And then we have our furnaces here. Nice three large furnaces, a couple of anvils, and our high security storeroom over here that we're just flying through all the security right here. And then of course our little barred windows. So that is everything that was accomplished today. And of course, I will download this later and get it posted up on YouTube, <laughs> death row, yes, so that anybody can catch up with it later. But for now, Lady to Winter is live in Rising World, so everybody hop on over. Um, I think that she usually streams, she's doing multi-stream to Twitch and YouTube. I don't want to say that for sure, but she might be. So hop on over, check her out, and I will catch you guys later. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day.